Tampa Bay's Chris Blue back again on stage tonight for another live round of NBC's The Voice. But pressure is on this week because not one but two artists will be going home. And in signature Chris Blue style, he followed his own theme. Chris wore a shiny gold bow tie to go with his performance song, Bruno Mars' hit 24 Karat Magic. So we wanted to know, where did this tie trend come from? We sent Jen Holloway looking for some answers. I love everything about this assignment for you tonight. <laughs> it's a real fun one. I've learned a lot, actually. But from what we've seen, Chris really knows how to tie in his performance and his look all together. Now, this trend is something the streets of Tampa are already very familiar with. Bow ties may be a small addition to a man's wardrobe, and for Chris Blue, he uses them to make a statement. I think guys and men just like to wear bow ties just because it allows them to stand out. Brent Krause and his family make bow ties for a living here in Tampa Bay at Ella Bing in South Tampa, where bow ties are big. All men can wear a necktie and just be and just fit in. But the bow tie really allows you to kind of stand out and stand up above everybody else in the crowd. His most popular bow tie? The wooden ones made by his father. He literally sits out uh, in the garage and starts carving from a block of a block of wood. You will see a boat tie tonight, I promise you. Showtime, showtime. Guess who's back again? Known as the bow tie guy, Chris says he has his favorites. This is a special uh, bow tie. I uh, had a little help with this one, <laughs> made out of paper. That's right, cardboard. And tonight's gold one was certainly the perfect fit for his song. Hey, baby. Chris says while the bow ties are trending here in Tampa Bay and across the country, he's been wearing one since he was little, thanks to his mom. She used to always put me in bow ties <laughs> growing up as a kid, so I, I mean, it just kind of stuck with me, been with me ever since. Brent says maybe one of his local creations would bring Chris some good luck. I think he definitely could use an Ella Bingwood bow tie, that's for sure. <laughs> Chris also credits his fiance, Steph. Remember, I introduced yeah. you to her last week or two weeks ago. She also said, hey, you should wear bow ties on the show when he took her advice. Love it. Now, he's got great style he and does. a great voice. Oh, I wow. don't see this guy losing. I mean, he is that good. Hopefully he's so. Uh, Cross our fingers for him. Thank you, Jen. And you can see if Chris continues on in this competition by watching tomorrow night's results.